uh, it's a hot topic and you're going to get a chance to vote on initiative 427 next Tuesday. So what exactly is it? What does it entail? Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Pierce Berlin has both sides of the issue and joins us with our top story. Pierce. Rod, that's right. Medicaid expansion has been talked a lot about in the last few weeks and both sides are coming out strong just days before the election. On Tuesday's ballot, the issue of expanding Medicaid. It would be for people ages 19 through 64 whose incomes are 138% below poverty level or those making less than $17,000. It's estimated 90,000 Nebraskans would benefit if it passed. They fall in what is called an insurance gap. They make too much to qualify for Medicaid, but not enough to get subsidies to help buy coverage from the health insurance marketplace. Opponents to Medicaid expansion say it's going to cost the state of Nebraska too much money. Costing a little bit, $52 million is an ultra-conservative estimate for the first biennium, so the first two years of the program. That's Nebraska's share. If the state of Nebraska does choose to expand Medicaid, the state as a whole would pay 10% of the expansion, whereas the federal government would pay for the other 90%. Is this going to cost the state some money? Yes, but we've already left billions of dollars on the table because we haven't expanded Medicaid yet, and we're going to be getting you know, a nine to one match from the federal government. And so while it seems like $25 million might be a lot of money, with the state budget as big as it is, and with the money that we've already left on the table and that we're already paying into the federal government, it's really a great value. Supporters say since Nebraskans are already paying those federal dollars, it's time for them to see those benefits. Over the long term, over the three years, basically for the first three years of Medicaid expansion, we would be looking at $1.3 billion coming back into our state from the federal government of tax dollars Nebraska workers have already paid in um, to pay for health care for low income working Nebraskans. Those who are opposed to this measure want to be clear that the federal government does not have enough money to pay for Nebraska's Medicaid expansion. Well, I think that they can be very misleading because yes, we do send our tax dollars to the federal government. They do come back to us in various different forms. It is not like our federal government has $600 million, which the proponents are claiming, set aside to pay for Medicaid expansion in Nebraska every year. They don't have that money. The federal government is using borrowed money to pay for Medicaid expansion in the states that have already expanded. Now, this is one of the most contentious issues on the ballot, and it was announced today that wealthy Omaha businessmen Warren Buffett and Walter Scott Jr., have each donated $200,000 to support Medicaid expansion.